Hello folks and welcome to tutorial number two. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at the 180 degree rule and how important it can be for filming conversation scenes. The first thing to consider when filming a conversation is the imaginary line that runs parallel between the two actors performing the scene. This imaginary line is known as the line of action. When setting up a conversation, it's often good practice to film the two people talking with a long shot first, in order to get some sort of geographical sense of how far apart the two actors are from each other. Here's an example of a good long shot of two people having a conversation at a table. If we refer back to the image, this is shot number one. Camera setup number two films the actor on the right, and camera setup number three films the actor on the left. Let's look at all three shots edited together in order. The 180 degree rule works in conjunction with the line of action. If you imagine a semicircle, which, if you remember from maths at school, is 180 degrees, you can place cameras 2 and 3 anywhere in this imaginary semicircle. However, it's important for good graphic stability between the edits that when you place camera 2 in a position, camera 3 is in exactly the same place opposite when you are filming the other actor. If you filmed this setup in your conversation, it should look like this. The shots used here of the actors are known as OTS shots, or over the shoulder shots. These shots are known as singles. These shots are known as profile shots. And finally, we've got the POV shots. One of the things that you want to avoid when filming conversations is crossing the line of action when you're filming. If you cross over the line of action and place your camera here in position 4, then this will happen in the edit. It will appear that the actors are not looking at each other. Essentially, their eye lines don't match. When filming conversations, you want to make sure that you have eye line matches at all times in order that screen direction and overall geography are maintained. There are some methods, however, that you can employ for crossing over the line effectively, and I'll take you through one of them in the next tutorial. Thanks for listening. For assessment purposes, make some notes on how the 180 degree rule works and why it is so important for maintaining a clear sense of screen direction and overall visual geography. It would also be worth filming, editing and archiving a sequence that employs the 180 degree rule for later assessment evidence for Unit 16.